I hate that VAR officials don't have the bottle to change the referee's decision unless it's clear and obvious, which that was. That was nailed on today. Us going 2 0 up with a second penalty could have won us this game today. Lads, lads, lads. <laughs> Lads, 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 welcome back to a brand new match reaction on the channel. You might see that I'm a little bit more chipper than I probably should be after a defeat, but it was Liverpool. If you'd have given me 2-1 before the start of the game, I'd have probably taken it, I'm going to be honest. After 30 minutes, if you'd have said we were going to lose 2-1, I'd have probably been a bit more gutted because I thought we were by far the better team. Um... Looking at the possession stats, even after like 30, 40 minutes, it, we, were get, we were apparently getting battered. They had more shots, uh, more shots on target, more shots, more possession. And I'm like, but we've been the better team. That's what I felt anyway. I thought we were so much better than them, created so many better chances. We were all over them. We were like the Sheffield United of last season. We were just on them like a rash Pretty much all game, to be honest. Um, I thought they were great today. And I'm not going to go as far as saying we were amazing. We didn't put a foot wrong. But I was proud of them tonight. I thought we got closer to Liverpool than maybe we've ever got before. Uh, you could probably say uh, when we lost to them last season at Bramall Lane, it was only because of Dean Henderson. But we scored a goal in this game. We created so many more chances away at Liverpool than we did at home, in my opinion, last season. Um, so, yeah, we had, I think it was two shots on target in the first half. Obviously, the penalty, which I'll quickly go through now, it probably was a penalty. I'm not 100% sure whether Fabinho caught Oli McBurney or not. Um, it was definitely on the line, so obviously it had to be a penalty because the referee had given the foul for a, for a free kick. But with it being bang on the line, it had to be a penalty. The VAR officials weren't going to overturn that unless it was absolutely clear that Fabinho had won the ball. I'm still not sure. I've watched it quite a few times from a lot of different angles. I'm not sure if it's McBurney's foot that gets it or it's Fabinho. I thought it was McBurney initially, but that might just be me being biased. Either way, the referee's given the foul. It's got to be a penalty. Sanderberger dispatched it beautifully. And that's the player that I would have had taken it against Villa. I think a lot of us said that because he took his penalty against Burnley so coolly in that penalty shootout. And he was, I think he was the only one at that time against Villa on the pitch who had scored a penalty. So in this game, I was thinking, so Sharp's not on the pitch. When, when we obviously got the penalty, Sharp's on the pitch. Norwood's not on the pitch. Who's going to take it? Because Osborne was on the pitch. And he, he put his penalty away pretty emphatically against Burnley. And Sander Berger, and we were obviously banging on about Sander Berger, should have been taking the pen against Villa. So it was great to see him step up. I was nervous. I'm going to be honest. It wasn't the best of penalties, but I do think he sent Alisson the wrong way. So if you sent a goalkeeper the wrong way, get it on target. It's a goal, which it was. So going 1-0 up against Liverpool was just mental because... How poorly we've played all season. This is definitely the best we've played all season. And um, yeah, I just loved every single minute of that first half, shall we say. No, I didn't. I don't know what I'm talking about. That's a load of rubbish because the goal that we conceded was pretty poor. Mane just got in between Baldock and Basham. They were too busy trying to watch the line, getting them out, pushing them out. And Mane just stood behind Basham and in between Baldock and Basham. And he's just got a free header. Uh, Ram has obviously saved it. It was straight at him. But it wasn't just the 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 ball, in, the ball into the box wasn't kind of... We didn't try to stop it. Mane was all on his own to head it. Well, he should have put it away first time. And then when Ramsdale made the save, there was no one following up. Well, there was three Liverpool players following up. Salah, Mane and, uh, and Firmino. And obviously Firmino put it in the back of the net. Pretty poor. I think we did fall asleep a few times today, but we did really well. We did really well going forward. We defended 
pretty pretty well for my uh, uh, for my liking. Um, lots Egan was incredible today. Got turned by Salah towards the end. I'm not I'm not blaming him for obviously the second goal. That was all on Ender Stevens. You can't let Jota have a free header. He's tiny. He's tiny. He shouldn't be winning a header in the box. But we'll get onto that. We'll get onto the second half because Osborne. Had a had a shot on target that Allison saved straight at him. Really, well, it was in a good good height for him, shall we say? Clean on the volley, and he just went with his side foot. He went to side, but kind of uh, just get it on target. And I felt like Osborne from there. He's got a decent shot on him. He's scored goals in the past, and I just felt obviously it's easy for me to say this now. If he'd have uh, sliced it or put it over the bar, I'd have been like, why don't you just? get it on target so yeah he can't really win but I just felt like he could have leathered that and kept it on target if he'd have kept it on target he'd have scored if he'd have leathered it but it's one of them things it were a, it were an excellent ball it were a great volley um but they're the only two that we got on target apparently in the first half it felt like we'd had so many more shots than that which we had a few uh we had more penalty shouts obviously McBurney went down for that one got the penalty um, Robins, uh, Robertson, sorry, um, I think it was Baldock put it into the box, and Robertson's arms out here, it's hit it. I didn't shout for it too much, because in my opinion, uh, kind of, from years gone by, it, I don't think it's in an unnatural position. Is is I don't know, it might be. I don't even know what the bloody handball rule is these days, so I don't really know what to say. There's no point in me trying to analyse it when I don't even know the rule, so we'll move on from that. Let me know in the comments what you think. Do you think it was a penalty or not? Still, like I say, not too sure. The second one, oh wait, there was a McBurney one when the ball came into the box, and I think it was, oh, it was Alexander, uh, Alexander Armstrong, that's not him. <laughs> it was Trent, it was Trent. Uh, and he literally just kind of kind of eased him out of the way. And it, it weren't a penalty. McBurney went flying. Just weren't a penalty, were it? If that was Liverpool, they may have got it. But, um, yeah, it, it wasn't a penalty for me. The one on Sander Berger was an absolute nailed-on penalty. At first glance, I thought, probably not. Um, but them, th them decisions are given week in, week out in the Premier League. And... It's just VAR officials bottling it again, isn't it? It just is. If Mike Dean would have given that as a penalty, they wouldn't have overturned it. So, yeah, it's just frustrating. I just hate it. I hate that VAR officials don't have the bottle to change the referee's decision unless it's clear and obvious, which that was. That was nailed on today. Us going 2-0 up with a second penalty could have won us this game today or at least got us a point I think it would have at least got us a point um yeah really frustrating guys that it's it's one of them things I think it's because we've already been given a penalty that they didn't give us that penalty I think two penalties in the same half would have been um seen as favoritism but it was just a penalty weren't it both of them were I don't think that the other two were for me but I definitely think we should have been Two penalties to the good and probably 2-0 up at half-time. Giving that stupid goal away by not um, uh, by losing Mane was, was criminal, really. But if we'd have played terrible today, I'd have probably banged on about that a little bit more. But we didn't, and I'm not going to give him stick because George Baller, it was probably George's fault. George is looking, the ball's coming into the box and George is looking that way. He should know that Mane is stood on his own. Uh, but I'm not going to give George stick because George was excellent today going forward. He was good at the back as well. Just switched off for that moment. Um, they also had some other chances. They did catch us out a few times, but it's Liverpool. They're a brilliant team. They are going to do special things at times. Second half, again, we had our chances. We could and maybe should have at least scored a second. I'll talk about their goal quickly because that was a legitimate goal. Ball put into the box. And Stevens just caught flat footed. Didn't know where Jota was. Uh, stood in the middle of the box trying to head the ball. Went over him and, and Jota headed it into the corner. Poor from Stevens. We've got some tightening up to do at the back. But again, I'm not going to bang on too much about that because we were all they were all brilliant today. I thought Stevens, a lot of bad passes. A lot of uh, passes going astray, going out of play. Not reaching the man. 
Stevens is is far off his best. They also had a goal disallowed uh, where Salah put it away. He was marginally offside, but he was probably just offside. It wasn't like a John Lundstrom big toe, but it was close. Uh, we could see straight away that he was offside. So it's one of them where you kind of like, yeah, it probably was. Um, Salah also went one-on-one, -on -one, dinked it over Ramsdale and it hit the post and went back to Ramsdale. It felt like our day. It felt like we were going to get some out of that game. Oli Burke got into a great position, turned Fabinho, which I thought Fabinho was dreadful all day. I know he's a midfielder, but uh, he was dreadful. Um, yeah, he, he turned him really, really easily. Uh, he just got the pace on it. I thought Oli Burke was excellent when he came on. Um, he had one where McBurney, I think McBurney flicked it onto him. He controlled it, ate it miles wide, but it was just a great opportunity. Osborne got to the byline where we've been begging these fullbacks to get to all season, and we had three strikers on the pitch, and not one of them was in that six yard box waiting for that ball. McGoldrick, uh, McBurney, and Burke, three strikers on the pitch. No one to be seen, really. Burke was a bit further back, like penalty spot, and I think that's where um, Osborne tried to get it to. I'm trying to think of other chances that we had. Um, I, we did have chances. We did have other chances. Uh, McGoldrick had a great effort that looked like it was kind of destined for the top bin, and then it just went over. Alisson wasn't sure. Alisson was touching that crossbar right in the corner. Um we were just close. We just went close so many times today. I think Liverpool probably deserved it, probably edged it, but we definitely weren't far away. And I think if we got a draw, I don't think anyone would have been saying, oh, Liverpool deserved to win that game. So anyway, I'll quickly run through the players because I do think today we need to talk about um, each player and how they've done because they were all excellent today. Ramsdale didn't put a foot wrong. Uh, Basham was getting up there supporting even to what, right towards the end, he was getting round uh, Baldock. He was getting up to support. It was brilliant to see. Egan, colossal at the back. Uh, like I said earlier, got turned for that. I think it was the one where uh, Salah just dinked him and hit the post. But he got turned for that. But yeah, Salah's an excellent player. Uh, it's telling me that Ampadu was left centre-back, which for some weird reason, Ampadu got moved to defensive midfield really early on and, and Stevens went there. Did Ampadu play? No, I'm pretty sure Ampadu played at centre back from the start. I'm 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 second guessing myself now. I'm pretty sure they moved him really early because yeah, I'm sure Osborne were playing centre mid. Anyway, uh, so even uh, Egan when uh, St sorry Stevens went left centre back. I thought he had a pretty poor game on the ball. I thought he did, did well defensively, other than slipping up for Jota to score that header. I thought Osborne was excellent, very, very good at left wing back. And it just makes me wonder, if Max Lowe is still injured, was he on the bench today? Uh, no, he wasn't. If Max Lowe is injured, it's making me think that he might... If Osborne plays his cards right, Osborne might be our left wing back for most of the season. And I think Osborne would probably like to play centre mid more, but I think he's got more chance of playing left wing back if he plays his cards right, like I say. I think he was great today. He just needs to be a bit more give and go, like Ender Stevens does. Sometimes he gives it and then it's like, oh, I don't know if I want to go. Um, Sander Berger. What a player. Excellent tonight. Excellent. So good. Put his penalty away. Great. He never looked like he was going to give the ball away. Not once. Look at all these great plays around him. Wijnaldum. Bloody Henderson. It, there were all these great attacking players trying to nick the ball off him. It was just so good all game. Uh, and I think he's going to be... He's going to be the... Re if we stay up, I think he's going to be the reason that we do. And I uh, tonight he's given me a lot more hope than I had in the first few games. This is probably the best game we've played all season. Um... Who else we got? Lundstrom. I thought Lundstrom had a good game today. I'm going to be honest. There's a lot of Lunny banners. Ba Lunny. Um, what am I trying to say? Lunny. Bashers out there. Jeez, that took a while. Lunny Bashers out there. And I I, uh, I think Lunny's been poor for quite a while. But I think he had a good game today, if I'm being completely honest. Especially early on. Um, 
Then we've got uh, Ampadu. I think Ampadu could have found his position now. Defensive midfield. We could play him and Sanderberg in defensive midfield. Um, and then, obviously, um, I don't know. We might even bring in someone at attacking mid. Might, might even be McGoldrick. Uh, it's exciting times. Finally, we're seeing some good play. And we were excellent today. Excellent. I think McBurney won everything in the air. He was excellent against Fabinho, knocking him about. Fabinho didn't get the better of McBurney much today, if I'm being completely honest. So, well done, McBurney. Uh, didn't see a great deal of Brewster. He linked up quite well at times. Didn't really get a chance to shine. Uh, we've got to just keep uh, stick with Brewster. He will learn our way of playing. He will understand how players uh, play. And he will get the goal. So let's just keep on that. Let's just keep thinking that. Oli Burke and Dave McGoldrick. Dave McGoldrick didn't see too much from him. Linked up quite well at times in that second half. Oli Burke, incredible today. So good. He needs to start every single game away from home, at least. So good. He just needs that goal to give him that confidence. And I think Oli Burke will go on and be a very good player for Sheffield United. That's it. I'm not going to bang on much more because I'm coming up to the 18-minute mark. So, uh, yeah, I'm just proud of the lads today. I thought they played really, really well. Hopefully, this is giving us a little bit of a lift going into the next few games. We've got some tough, tough games. But if we can go to Anfield and nearly cause a shock like that, why can't we beat Man City? They're sitting like 12th or something like that in league. Why can't we beat Man City at home? Why? Why can't we beat Chelsea? Chelsea's not been doing too well. No one's playing well this season other than Everton, Leeds, Villa, you could probably say. No one's playing well, maybe Wolves. So we can do this. We can get some points from these next two games. There's a lot of positives to take from that game. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. If you haven't subscribed already, please do and stay in good, Nick. Look at that ping from Norwood. Makes other teams look no good. Yeah. We've got a team full of leaders. Alan Hill, Chris Wilder, taught us. Right. Yeah, the results on the tour bus. Yeah. No count when it goes, Billy scored us. It's beautiful downtown Bramalane. We are the boys from Shoreham.